Uh, okay, so um, I thought I'd just show you some of the uh, quick features and how to set up the hammock gear hammock. Uh, this is the one that I've got from them. Um, it's in a, this one's actually I think in what they call olive green, so it's actually quite well camouflaged. Um, what should I go through first? Uh, let me just walk you through the setup very quickly. The hammock itself, um, you can also get this uh, bug net that they have with it. They also have a zipped bug net, bu uh, bug net version, um, but this one has a separate bug net which I'll go into in a second a bit closer. Um, I've set this one up. Um, their hammocks come with the um, straps that you need to attach to trees at either end, which I've done, and they even come with the lightweight carabiners as well with the kit as well so that you can attach very quickly to a tree. You can see they recommend about 15 to 18 feet apart. This one's actually a little bit too close to each tree, but it's okay. You're looking to set it up so that it's about 18 inches off the ground is about right. There's a tendency for people to want to get adventurous and set it up nice and high, but if for any reason what you've done does fail or any of the knots that you've done fail, it means you've got further to fall. So I always recommend only about, literally my hands bent or something like that. Um, just going in a little bit closer for features as to show you, you've got a couple of hooks, you've got four of these on the corners. Those are for hanging a quilt underneath just to help keep you a little bit warmer. I'm actually camping out in the summer so I don't particularly need loads of warmth and all I've got inside is a very lightweight um, sleeping bag which is all I really need. But in the winter you can get a little bit cold underneath as the airflow comes underneath. So um, it's useful to have these hanging points so you can put a quilt underneath. Um, they also come with a ridge line attached as well. This ridge line is actually really important. Um, it'll take a lot of the strain between the two trees, which means the material itself isn't taking an enormous amount of strain in a small area. So your body weight is just distributed evenly across the whole fabric. I actually like the ridge line as well for the other reason that it's really easy now to just throw a tarp over the top of that if there's rain or you want to keep the dew off you in the morning. So the ridge line is another important bit. Um, and again, these hammocks come with the ridge line already pre-threaded through, so it's ready to go, which makes things a lot, lot easier. I actually kind of use it for things like just hanging a little light off as well at night, if I'm just doing a few things before I go to sleep. Um, I've actually attached one of their bug nets to this as well, which is super, super easy. It just clips on at the top at both ends. And then there's a central bit here that's open. You simply climb into it in the middle here. And then once your body's entirely inside, you just pull tight um, just to keep the bugs out and then you'll see inside I've, I've actually set mine up with my sleeping bag and all the gear I need just inside. You actually don't really sleep in these that way, you tend to sleep a little bit diagonal in these and they're actually much much wider than they look. They're about 11 feet long as well so even if you're a super super tall person you won't have any problems um, sleeping in this with your feet hanging out the end or anything like that. Um, what else do I like about it? I like that they don't come in loads of gaudy colours. Um, I'm often camping discreetly and so having colours that are in keeping with the forest is quite helpful to help keep me out of sight. I like the fact that even the straps you can flip them round from nice and bright to see them easily to quite dark if you don't want them to be seen easily. That's a nice touch as well. Um, the fabric itself is super strong and it's nice and breathable. It's not waterproof though, so just bear that in mind. You are going to need a tarp or something if it is going to rain or you want to keep the water off. Um, weight wise, it can hold up to 350 pounds. So that would be two of me. So again, if you're worried about weight or anything like that, it will hold uh, quite a lot of weight provided you've set this up properly, tied the knots properly and that kind of thing. Weight overall, um, this one comes in in European terms and under half a kilo for Americans that's somewhere around I think 18 ounces and that includes the bug net that I've got today take the bug net off and this gets even lighter I think it's somewhere in the region of about uh, from memory about 15 or 14 ounces and that includes the straps and the carabiners so this is an incredibly lightweight solution and it packs up really really small Again, even with the bug net, uh, bug net, you get a little stuff sack with this. If you put everything in the stuff sack, it comes in about the size of three cans of Coke if you stuff it up. So again, that's really nice. You can probably see the backpack I'm out with today is, isn't particularly big. It's only a 20 litre pack and I've got everything I need in there. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of it. Um, it's a really impressive little um, hammock. It's well made. I like the colour. I like the functionality. It only takes a couple of minutes to put up. I like that there's a bug net you can attach that's super simple. Um, it's a well thought out piece of kit and it's super lightweight so it's something I'm probably going to use quite a lot this summer. So there you go, that's a hammock gear hammock and I've showed you their bug net as well.